What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome to the channel. So if you haven't watched my videos, I teach XR, I teach game development, and lately I've been going through a process of becoming a full-time YouTube creator, which in my case has been a pretty big deal because I've been working you know, nine to five from I think about 13, 14 years. This is a a really big change for me and, and I'm really excited. I mean, overall, I think I'm, you know, becoming and doing this full time, it's exciting, which is why I want to talk about this. So I've been, you know, doing a lot of things for development for the last 12 years, 14 years. And I also, at the time I was working and creating games on the side, so I would start at 9 a.m go to five and at the time I didn't have two kids so it was a lot easier to to work on you know all my dreams of becoming an indie game developer and, and releasing and and I did a lot of things I think I learned a lot from that process I work with you know with unity I met a lot of people in the process and I came up with an idea for a little game release a few games in the in the app store and also in Steam. So I would basically put the kids to bed and you know tell my wife, you know what, I'm going to go to the basement and I'm gonna focus on making, you know, my game. And you know, given that it took about three years to develop a, a very what I think is a very basic game, but as a solo developer was uh, really challenging, but I was able to push through, right? I was able to, you know, get a schedule down where I would just work on it and do as much as I can to polish it to figure things out online, Stack Overflow, joining the Unity forums. And basically I, I did what it take to release something that I was proud of. And at the time, I think I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I built. And then over the years, uh, I try and help different people. So I would get questions about, you know, as I was telling people on social media what I was working on, I would get different clients and they would ask me questions and I still get them today. Or oh, how do you implement this? or Obviously now it's more like about XR. I think that mentality was great because I was working, you know, in, at a day job at the beginning. I was working and actually, you know, trying to release a game. I was also working on prototypes with, with different people after my, you know, my eight hours at my day job, which I was working as a senior developer. And then that really built a lot of trust in myself to be able to push and keep doing this. So it wasn't easy at the beginning. I was, you know, a new guy getting into a, a, a developer position, then jumping into a senior, then working on these different prototypes. And then today I'm, I'm just, you know, consulting different companies. I am in meetings with, with people that I, I really admire. And, but I'm still that guy, right? I'm still the guy that started, you know, 12 to 14 years ago uh, without much knowledge about programming. So, so I want to be that guy. And, and that guy is the guy that you see right now teaching uh, as much as, as you see on things for XR. So that process of becoming and learning to prototype, working with different clients took me to where I am today. And how did that happen? Well, a lot of people tell me, Dilma, how do you get motivated to work on this thing every single day? I think it's a combination of, of multiple areas, right? Like right now I can say, that I've been educating a lot of people in the community, but it wasn't as easy to get to a point where now I can I work on a prototype and then release it. And then many people, you know, can test it or they can learn from that process. So when I ask about how to stay motivated, I think the motivation for me comes from uh, being able to, to hear from you guys on the comments saying, okay, Dilmer, these really help me. These really allow me to get from point A to point B. Even if you think is is simple of what you're doing today, you have no idea the impact that you can have on, on many people. And I leave that. I went to AWE and, and I'm humble to say that I work I, I jump into the Augmented Reality Expo and, and a lot of people, you know, they knew who I was. And and it wasn't much about you know, having them know who I was, which, you know, it felt good. But at the same time, you know, I was in a couple of conferences, a couple of classes where I sat and people from the university were making and doing demos. And 
And they would look at me and, and I'm like, why are they looking at me? And, and at the end of the meetings, we, we had talks. Uh, I, you know, I talked to multiple people in the conferences and they say, well, Dilmer, the stuff that you saw, I was able to get it started because of what you, what you taught me in YouTube. That is what fills me up. That's what motivates me. And if you're thinking about finding motivation for anything that you do, and if you want to quit your job, just like I did, which, uh, you know, it was kind of a crazy story, but so the decision that I made is to actually quit my job, which I've been, you know, I work as, at a company nine to five over, you know, a long time. And then found a different job at a great company, which I really admire the people that work there. And they gave me that most amazing opportunity as the head of R&D. And, and that taught me a lot. I think going from one company, going from another company, and then realizing the potential of the things that I could do on the time that I was working at home is what really opened my eyes. I'm like, okay, if I'm making a video and it's impacting all these people, what if I do this full time and I can teach more about VR, more about augmented reality? That's when I decided last Sunday to, to really, you know, make a decision and say, okay, am I gonna be doing this, you know, from nine to five and then working on videos afterwards and, or even I was making videos during the day with them. And then that change of focus that I think got to me that I decided to say, you know what, I want to do this full time. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm going to bring a lot of content to the XR community. They're enjoying the content, so why not focus on that? Even if I have to live on a, on a lower budget, even if I'm gonna get paid a lot less, to me it was, you know, if I wake up in the morning, what am I gonna be getting excited about? I was getting really excited about working on projects, really cool, crazy projects on, on the other companies, but that wasn't really what I wanted to do long term. I want to build Learn XR. I want to bring as much you know attention to XR, educating a lot of people around the world, go to conferences, and not have to actually rely on a source of income that it's coming in on a paycheck, which I was actually taught to to do that. I mean, my parents they they were you know they work that way. And a lot of family and people that I know work that way. And I worked that way for many years. So this is a really big deal. And I say that in social media, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty scared. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, anything that I've done in the past uh, that has been scary has been a really great thing. So, so that's what I want to do going forward. And this video is for, you know, many of you who are excited about your future and you're thinking about, okay, what should I do? Should I, you know, do my YouTube channel? Should I, you know, work on a, on a company? And, and there's no right and wrong answer. What I tell you to do is make sure that you, you gain as much experience as you can. I wouldn't say just, you know, launch a YouTube channel or launch this product and not get the exposure of working on all these amazing companies because that honestly is what allowed me to gather all this knowledge and be able to teach you. So if you're thinking about it and if you're in a good position, maybe you can do it. But in my case, what has worked is just getting exposure to all these technologies and meeting so many people. And at the end of the day, just follow your heart, follow your passion, be strategic about you know saving for the future. Don't just quit your job and then not have anything to look forward to because at the end of the day, we need to pay you know, your bills. So you wanna make sure that you are creating content with the, you know, the mindset and, and peace that you're gonna be able to do it and keep going forward. And right now, I know that I can keep going forward for the next 12 months. And I'm gonna keep bringing a lot of content. I'm gonna keep bringing you as much of my knowledge. And yeah, I'm not gonna get a lot of exposure to so many things. I'm still going to be consulting to different many companies, which gives me kind of a peace of mind. I'm still doing consulting for, you know, Meta. I'm still working with different companies like Snapchat. Also Looking Glass, I've been working on some things with them. So, so there's a lot of things and a lot of people that I have, met, I have met over the years that want to help me and I really appreciate them. And I really appreciate many of you from watching my content. And I really can't wait to see what happens the next 12 months how I can impact you with the content that I'm gonna be bringing you. So I wanna leave it at that. I want to say that thank you very much. There's gonna be a lot of content that I'm gonna be bringing, a lot of code and projects that I want to bring to the community. So thank you very much guys and I appreciate your time. All right, let's do this. How can we start talking about the last 12 to 14 years of my career? All right, let's start, come on.
We got this. We got this. Let's go.